Good morning, children. Welcome to lecture study. Today our topic is the second chapter from eighth class new biology textbooks. That is microorganisms, friends, and foe. So in this chapter we are going to discuss about the so what are the microorganisms and how they become useful for us and how they become harmful us. Here friends means they are how friendly microorganisms and foe means they are how they are become enemies enemies means here how they do harmful for us like they will spread diseases they will spoil spoil the food so all these things we should learn in this lesson and not only for this one nitrogen how the nitrogen will be fixing and fixed by the microorganisms and how can we increase the soil fertility and uh, how can we preserve the food for the longer time and how medicines will be produced by the, with the help of uh, microorganisms. So, so all these things we should do, discuss in this chapter. And what are the microorganisms? Microorganisms means we can't see with our naked or unaided eye. So those organisms will be called as a microorganisms or microbes. Here you have seen several kinds of plants and animals but they are visible to us. But however, there are other living organisms around us which we normally can't see. So the things which we can't, the organisms which we can't see our eye, so these are called microorganisms or microbes. So what are microorganisms or what are microbes? For this answer, you will write living organisms around us which we normally cannot see. So these are called microorganisms or microbes. Examples for these organisms are uh, generally in rainy season. So rainy season, moist bread gets spoiled and its surface gets covered with grayish white patches. So we, if we observe the bread carefully in the microscope, so or we can observe with the help of magnifying lens. So we will see tiny black rounded structures. So these are the thread like structures and their head they will be like rounded head like structures are present. So these are called sporangians. So these are will be spread throughout the bread and it will occupy all over the blood, bread. Do you know what these structures are and where do these come from? So collect some moist microorganisms for this. Actually the spores, air contains all these spores. Whenever they get to moist surfaces, they will attack the at, uh, food material as a food stratum for them. So they will uh, spread the spread easily microorganisms on the food items. So that's why these are actually called as a fungus. So fungus will always grow on the way dead and decaying organisms or dead and decaying food substances are there. They will easily grow on them. So next one is a microorganisms. So for this activity one will be given. So collect some moist soil from the field and uh, in a beaker and water and add water to it. After some time the soil particles will be settled down in the beaker. And now take a drop of water from the beaker and observe it under the take a drop of water from the beaker with the help of a dropper on your slide and observe it under a microscope. And what do you see? So what do you see? The some minute organisms are moving in the water drop. And next one is a that means it, it is proved what it proved soil contains some microorganisms it will be proved this experiment and next one is activity so take a few drops of water from a pond and uh, spread on a glass light observe through microscope so the observation so the water and soil are fully of tiny organisms the not all of them fall into the category category of the microbes 
but these microorganisms or microbes are so small in size that they can't be seen with unaided eye some of these such as a fungus that grows on the bread can be seen with a magnifying glass and others cannot be seen without the help of microscope but that is why these are called microorganisms or microbes but in some organisms we can see with our eye but those are if we see the with the help of magnifying lens we can see these those organisms but some of them are we can't see with our naked eye so how many types of microorganisms are there so for this question so microorganisms are classified into four major groups that is bacteria fungi and protozoa and algae so how many kinds of groups are present in the microns they are four that is bacteria fungi protozoa and algae and some of these common microns shown shown in figure 2.1 and 2.4 so in the next page they would given see these are all microorganisms this one is a lactobacillus bacteria which were present in our curd and these are some of the microns these, these belongs to algae for example algae Calamidomonas and Spirogyra are the examples for algae, and protozoa, amoeba and paramecium are examples for protozoa, and fungi, bread mold, Penicillium and Aspergillus are the examples for fungi. So all these are examples for microorganisms, and let us learn about some more important points about the viruses. viruses are also microscopic but are different from other microorganisms they however reproduce only inside the cell of the host of the organisms and microorganisms are very they are very microscopic ee microscopic ee ekkada podutay anta cells of the host organism edaithe organism lokku velthayo so aa organism lone ee reproduce malli vaati oka ఆ నెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్ ని రీప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తారు అన్నమాట విచ్ మే బి అంటే ఇక్కడ హోస్ట్ ద హోస్ట్ మే బి ఏ ఇట్ మే బి ఏ ప్లాంట్ ఆర్ బ్యాక్టీరియా ఆర్ బ్యాక్టీరియా ఆర్ ప్లాంట్ ఆర్ యానిమల్ ఏదైనా కావచ్చు ఇందులో అంటే హోస్ట్ అంటే ఏంటి ఈ వైరస్ ఎవరినైతే అటాక్ చేస్తుందో దాన్ని హోస్ట్ అనమాట సో హోస్ట్ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ అకామిడేషన్ ఫర్ వైరస్ అనమాట సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద వైరస్ ఆర్ షోన్ కామన్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ లైక్ కోల్డ్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెంజా ఫ్లూ అండ్ మోస్ట్ కాఫ్స్ ఆర్ కాజ్డ్ బై వైరస్ డిసీజెస్ అండ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కామన్ డిసీజెస్ విచ్ విల్ బి అటాక్టెడ్ బై ఏ వైరస్ మీన్స్ కోల్డ్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెంజా ఫ్లూ అండ్ మోస్ట్ కాఫ్స్ చాలా వరకు దగ్గు జలుబు ఇవన్నీ కూడా వైరస్ వల్ల వస్తాయి బట్ ఇవి అంత సీరియస్ కాదు బట్ సమ్ సీరియస్ డిసీజెస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో దేర్ లైక్ పోలియో చికెన్ పాక్స్ అండ్ లైక్ కరోనా హెచ్ఐవి సో ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ సీరియస్ డిసీజెస్ విచ్ ఆర్ కాజ్డ్ బై ద వైరస్ సో నెక్స్ట్ డిసీజెస్ లైక్ డిసెంట్రీ డిసెంట్రీ మలేరియా కాజ్డ్ బై ప్రోటోజోవా so for examples of protozoans in your textbook what they gave um, amoeba and paramecium actually they do not cause any diseases to human beings or other animals but here dysentery malaria malaria is caused by a plasmodium protozoan and, and dysentery is caused by antimoeba histolytica whereas typhoid and tuberculosis is caused by the bacterial diseases so for this important topic is what are the diseases caused by virus means cold influenza and coughs and polio chicken pox covid 19 and hiv hepatitis all these diseases are caused by virus and what are the protozoan diseases dysentery and malaria dysentery means watery motions like loose motions so malaria is a fever which will be caused by the um, pathogen is um, plasmodium and vector for is a female anopheles mosquito so and what are the bacterial diseases typhoid and tuberculosis are the examples for uh, the diseases caused by bacteria so first we should learn about the way do microorganisms live actually microorganisms are very present so they live in all types of environment ranging from ice cold 
climate to hot springs so microbes are present in every way, everywhere that means they are present in ice cold climate and hot springs even in deserts also to match the lands deserts to match the lands they are also found inside the bodies of the animals including human beings also some microbes grow on the other organisms while other exist freely they live in all types of ante ice land challaga unna pradeshal nunchi vediga unnatundi pradeshalu lo ne untai alage deserts ante adar lo untai marshy lands ante burada nela lo kuda untai anamata inka ivi ekkada untai ata inside the bodies of the animals ante manavul laanti jeevullo ni inka konni pakshulu konni jantulu oka sharira lopala kuda ivi nivasistai ata inka konni ekkada untai ata on the other organism while other exist freely konni free ga unnatundi organisms kan kuda you want to enter so generally micro organisms are single celled they have only one cell like bacteria bacteria ki some algae ki protozoans ki ela aithe okay ok cell untado ee micro ants are also maybe single celled or multi cell such as many algae and fungi so in, in this micro organisms so in micro organisms single celled organisms examples enti ante bacteria and some algae and protozoa In micro ants, multicellular organs examples are enti ante fungi and fungi and algae. So these are the multicellular micro organisms. And bacteria, algae and protozoa are the single celled micro organisms. Okay. And micro organisms and us micro organs play an important role in our uh, our lives. Some of them are beneficial in many ways, and some of them are beneficial in many ways whereas some are the are harmful and cause diseases and let us study them in about in a detail in the second part video we will learn about the useful microorganisms are friendly microorganisms and how they are useful for us okay thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you